everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Now, I would like to give this message um, and this warning directly to this false apostle, uh, Catherine Crick. Now, um, this message is from God. It is a warning to you that you need uh, to turn away. You need to turn away from your wicked ways. Now, um, I see that you're going to be showing up uh, tomorrow, uh, July 30th at uh, Trinity Church, and you're going to be um, doing a revival here in Miami. Now, I'm here to tell you that you are not welcome here in Miami, okay? First of all, you are not welcome here in Miami. Second of all, you should not lay not one finger on anybody here in Miami. Not one finger to be laid on anybody here in Miami. OK, um, you are a false apostle, OK, a deceitful worker and a false teacher. And what you're doing is you're causing division to the body of Christ. OK, and you are causing people's faith to be overthrown. OK, and you are causing these souls to be lost. OK, you're going to cause these souls to be condemned because they are believing in your deception. You are deceiving them. And the sad thing is, is that you yourself are deceived as well by other deceitful workers and false apostles and false prophets, right? Um, and I'm here to tell you this. Um, this is a warning directly from God. You must repent or you will perish, okay? Now, I have scripture to back certain things up as to the things that you were claiming that, um, that you believe. And I'm here to also warn the viewers uh, especially those that are from Miami, to please not go to this woman's revival. Do not go to this woman's church service, okay? Do not go to this woman's revival, okay? She is going to lay hands on you with demonic power, and she's going to transfer to you demonic spirits that are going to lead you into spiritual bondage. This is not a game, okay? I keep on saying that Satan is here with great wrath, trying to trying to um trying to snare as many souls as possible and take them to hell with him because he only has but a short time this is not a game and this is to lead people to hell and he is using his people his people who work for him knowingly or unknowingly but he's still using them to lead people astray to lead people to fall away okay and uh and he is using this woman now, I'm here to tell you that um, the, there are signs and red flags to show that she is a false apostle. And I'm going to take you to the, for, to the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Galatians, chapter 1. And then I'm going to take you to chapter 1, verse 1, and then chapter 1, verse first, verses 15 to 17. It says in, in uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 1, Paul, an apostle not of men. OK, in parentheses, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God, the father who raised him from the dead. OK, in parentheses. And this is to clarify to you that this is an anointing. OK, he is ordained to be apostle, to be an apostle. Paul is ordained and anointed to be an apostle directly from Jesus Christ, okay, and God the Father. It wasn't an anointing given to him, and it, was, and it wasn't ordained to him directly from men, okay? And I want to make this very clear, because I want you to see that this false apostle, she has been, uh, she has been prophesied, it was prophesied to her that she would be an apostle, and she was anointed by a false, a false prophet, okay? So her anointingness, where she got anointed from and ordained from, came from a false prophet. It came from men. It did not come directly from Jesus Christ and God the Father. And so this is very important because the devil also is looking out to copy the works of uh, the true works of God, okay, and making it appear as if they're true, but his works are deceitful 
and they are lies because the devil is a liar and the father of it. And his workers also will be lying and doing false signs and false wonders, deceiving, even if, even if it's possible, the very elect. But these are the people who do not abide in the word of God. Okay. And who are, you know, and who is, and who easily are very vulnerable to, or should I say they're very vulnerable in hearing, okay, uh, whatever false teachings that are out there from seducing spirits, because this work, this woman is working through, uh, working with uh, a seducing spirit and, um, the, and these seducing spirits are going to play a huge role in the falling away, which we are in right now. Because a lot of people, they turn aside to seducing spirits, seducing spirits like her. And so I'm here to tell you this, to uh, stay away, stay far away from this false apostle, run away from this false apostle, and do not let her lay hands on you. And I am telling you this not only for the people in Miami, but also all over the world. Do not let this woman lay hands on you. Okay? And so... I'm going to take you to Galatians uh, chapter 1, verse 15 to 17. But when it pleased God, but when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, 16, to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Paul said, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. Okay. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. As she went up to who? A false prophet who is before her. But I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. So Paul here made it very clear in Galatians chapter 1, verse 1, and Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 to 17, that he never conferred with men. He never was ordained by men. He never was anointed by men as this woman is. Okay, that is, that is a sure sign that this is not a true apostle. She is not a true apostle. And don't let her deceive you. Okay, and so I'm going to take you... Um, I'm going to take you to, um, I'm going to take you to John chapter eight, verse 31 and 32, 31. Then said, then said Jesus to those Jews, which believed on him. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed? And you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Okay. If you continue, he says in my word. Then are you my disciples indeed, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Okay? And I want to make this very clear, that you have to abide in the word of God. Okay? And if you have any kind of infirmities or illnesses, you can trust in the word of God that he will heal you by his word. Okay? Because God wants to sanctify you. But when you are... <laughs> are are putting yourself in the hands of someone who you do not know where they get their power from or 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 you are not um knowledgeable okay of where you know of how they of how, how they operate in the spiritual realm and you don't know you know what they have done to anoint water you don't know what you know you, you you haven't seen how they anointed water you don't know how they have a power in their hands to heal you don't know what spirit is operating in them you don't you don't discern the spirits you don't take us you don't take time to test the spirits but you just throw yourself and put your hands in put your hands in in the put yourself in the hands of uh, of just any person then you're gonna set yourself up for destruction okay because you are going to allow yourself to be filled up with demonic spirits. And if that woman is filthy or whoever it is, is filthy and unclean and they have done sorcery and witchcraft. OK, because that's exactly how the devil operates. The devil operates with witchcraft. Then you're going to get witchcraft as well. OK, and then you're going to get also curses. And when that happens, you're going to have more problems adding on to you. 
you're not going to be delivered from the problem you have. It's going to make it worse, okay? And you're going to also get more unclean spirits. And so this is what these false, false teachers, they have. They have a lot of powerful, unclean, demonic spirits that they are transferring to from one person to another. They are transferring it, okay, uh, in order to keep you in bondage. That is what they do, knowingly or unknowingly. Now, I'm not here to say that she is, um, you know, uh, I, you know, honestly, I think that she knows what she's doing. Um, I, but I believe that she is deceived herself. And, um, like I said, it's a warning to her so that she would turn away, you know, from doing those things that she's doing and from following this path that leads to destruction. And, um, I'm also here to tell you this, uh, false apostle, um, uh, Catherine Crick, that, um, that you had mentioned that you do not abide uh, in the word. Okay. How do you get the power of God? The power of God is in the word of God. Okay. Because the word of God is the power of God. The word of God is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. All right. And you receive the power of God, not by the word of God. And you, uh, you receive the power of God by what? Attending, attending a church service that you also received also a false, uh, you know, a false anointing from and a demonic anointing from a false prophet. So you're going to do also deceitful, evil works. And that's just the way it is because it's not the Holy Spirit that's working in you. Okay. It's demonic spirits that's working in you. So I want to, um, I want to take you, I want to take the viewers who are considering and going to see this woman that they need to, they need to read the word for themselves. You know, you need to read the word for yourself in order to know how to test the spirit the right way in order to have discernment so that you don't put yourself in a bad, excuse me, spiritual situation. You don't put yourself in the hands of the wrong people because many false teachers are out in the world doing a false signs and wonders. And this is going to be the same way with the antichrist. Okay. And he's going to do the same thing and people are going to believe it. People, don't be deceived. The people need to start waking up, waking up and read their Bible in order to know the truth. Okay, it's very simple. So it says here, and uh, in um, I'm going to take you to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come. Uh, yeah, 2 Timothy chapter 3. I'm sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They will not endure the word. Okay, hearing the truth. But after their own lusts, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Because these false teachers are going to itch your ears. They're going to give you another gospel, a false gospel. They're going to give you another doctrine. Okay, they're going to they're going to actually have you just believe in the signs and wonders. So that you would not, uh, you know, follow the word of God. So that you would not read the word of God. Okay? So that you would not abide in Jesus Christ. And they're going to do this to make you go astray. That is what their goal is. And so, and that is what the goal of the devil is. Okay? Because the devil doesn't want you to abide in the truth. The devil doesn't want you to have the truth. So, um, they're going to be, you know, telling you things to make you feel good. They're going to tell you things or show you things to make you believe that everything is okay and that you're healed when really you're not. Okay. And so this is what I'm trying to warn you from so that you do not fall into the wrong hands. And so I'm going to take you, uh, to, um, second Corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 to 15, second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 to 15. For such, are, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And I hope you hear that, um, uh, Catherine Craig. I hope you hear that, who, that your end will be according to your works, okay? So 
uh, you need to know the consequences of the actions that you are committing and deceiving all these people that are falling into your hands. Okay, and uh, because these souls are going to be in your hands and you're going to be held accountable uh, for, for, the wrong, for the wrong deeds that you have done. And so um, I'm here to tell you to turn away. <laughs> you need to turn away. And so um, I also want to say that those who are considering and, and going to see her, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you do not take her, that you do not go and see this false apostle. And I pray also that you do not put your children in the hands of this false apostle, of the, in the hands of this woman. Please, I'm, I'm pleading with you, I'm begging you, do not put your children in the hands of this woman. She has a false a, a spirit. She has a, a spirit of error. It is not the spirit of Christ. Okay, it is the spirit of the Antichrist, and I'm here to tell you that. Now, <clears throat> my final, my final um, message that I want to give uh, to false apostle Catherine Crick. Um, I'm telling you that you need to turn away from the from this error of your way. You need to um, stop teaching false doctrine. You need to stop. Uh, doing false signs and wonders. Uh, you need to repent for what you're doing, okay? You are dividing the body of Christ and you, you will be held accountable for your wrongdoings, okay? And there is no exception. And I'm, and I'm here to tell you this, that if you do not turn away, you will bear the indignation of God. You will bear the, the wrath of God and God will strike you. And I'm here to tell you this, a wicked woman, you shall, you will surely die. You will surely die. Okay. If you don't repent, you will die in your iniquity. So I'm telling you to turn away from it and turn away from it now. And I'm telling you to not come here and do any more revivals. And I'm telling you that you need to um, stop what you're doing and stop what you're doing now. Okay. Um, or else you will be condemned and you will die in your iniquity. This is my message. I pray that you hear my message and that you consider what I said, that you really consider what I said. This is a warning from God directly to you. False apostle Catherine Crick, hear, hear what I say. Okay. And consider it. Repent or perish. Repent or perish. <clears throat>